Hello YouTube, it's Herpty Drip here with our final episode. The last one! Yeah, I'm so psyched. Final episode. And Warframe Spy Vault. And I'm starting off here in the room where if you want to, you can actually uh, fit, redo the whole laser eye puzzle from the second dream and get the cunning drift. Yeah, see, there he goes, powered up, and you can start that puzzle if you want. Whoa! But that's not what this episode is about. This is about the fact that we're on Pavlov Earth, and we are doing the Orc and Moon Spy for rewards like Blood Rush, and um, I'm trying to remember a couple of the other ones that you can get from here. There's a set of, there's a total of five. I'm um, pretty sure there's there's a couple of those ones where you gain status chance on your weapons when you... Uh, Gain status chance on your weapons when you use the, when you uh, use an ability um, that you can get here. A couple of there's some damaged. nice mods you get you from this. I don't remember the whole list off the top of my head. I apologize, YouTube. Okay, here we are in the Orkin Obstacle Course. Now this is possibly one of the most entertaining spy rooms I've ever seen made. As usual, there are two ways to complete it. There's only one way to start, and that is to shoot that button and come in here to say so you can get into the Orkin Time because the majority of this vast majority of this we're going to do in the Orkin timeline. Hack this, get out of this room. A lot of hacks on this one too. The target console is nearby. If you trigger the alarm okay. now, the enemy will start destroying data. So, this room's pointless. That's, we can start it off by hacking this to get... Now this gets us into the obstacle course. Now, if we look at the larger map as a whole here, as you can see, here's the here's the vault room. It's right there, but we have to uh, go all the way around this large, complicated series. You can't even see it all. It's fuzzing off the screen there a little bit to the far right. This whole complicated series of rooms to get to it, and this this particular vault can take quite a while if you're not even attempting to if you're not attempting to speed run it. So here we go. Also, you might think that there should be some way. Those little buttons you see there, those on the screen, those um, some of those correspond to little buttons like the one I just hacked right there. And the vast majority of them actually correspond to singularities to switch in between. So you might actually think that gee, this door's closed, we just need to get it through it. We can get past, we can use those little buttons to do it. But actually, those those actually correspond to an underground trap, and I'll show you the way to, to get there, or why you could avoid it. Now, this one this one's not particularly important to use Noah to do. As you can see, there's a, there's a long way you can go around the edge. But I prefer to do this a slightly easier way, which is before we get started, we're going to shoot up this particular little vent pathway in between. And now, I could always just set up set up a little Nova wormhole if I wanted to. In fact, I, I might I might show you the way doing it that way. But there's no there's no real issue unless we run into a laser here. So most people are not going to do this with with wormholes or anything like that. Really. This, this vault is completely doable without them. As you can see, using that little pathway allows us to complete this vault without the use of any sort of mo Nova mobility. But if we wanted to, we could have done this without activating anything, just put a wormhole into this pathway and use another wormhole to get past those lasers and through this door. Alright, so now the next thing we've got to do, and this room can get a little bit interesting, so this is going to shut off, hello, normally this shuts off those lasers right there, that seems to be a bit of a glitch today, come on, okay, well at any rate, normally, normally that shuts off those lasers, so we'll, we'll phase through that real quick for you guys. Now this entire room is made of ice, so this is not fun. This is part of why I took I'm bringing a hit scan weapon with me, is because I want to be able to I want to be able to shoot out those lasers in a reasonable amount of time, even if I uh, even if I'm slowed down horribly. Now we went through that portal because first of all that greatly reduces the amount of ice in the room. There's still some left, but not a lot. And the second is because in the Oricon version, this door over here is locked and there's no way to get around it. But in our version, in today's time, or whatever time Warframe is set in, there's this big broken down area that 
we can use to get around that door. Now, this actually has to do with that trap I was telling you guys about, which is, you might think that there might be a shortcut if you are, if you actually go back down underneath here and backtrack a little ways, but actually there's, this doesn't take you anywhere. This just takes you to the trap room I was mentioning, or back into here, which is also not useful. There's several different places that you can go underground, but none of them really help you advance throughout this giant set of rooms. So, there we go. We are through here. A little bit of a uh, calm running. And now, as you can see, this vault is unique in that it has some of these singularities that I learned. And I'm actually going to show you one of the solutions it involves a uh, singularity. Let's just I'm gonna shoot this out and make this easier on myself. I can aim. There we go. And now we finally hit the split between the rooms. Not really sure why this singularity is here, though. Um, I, I presume it has something to do with actually being able to go underground and make it to this room. Anyway, so this is the room that we have to go to eventually. Now there are two ways to complete this. Okay, I got, I got some uh, messages coming in, but trying to record here. So the first way, here it is, the first way is to hack this button. And then there's a, an actual speed test that is very difficult. Almost the entire floor is ice. I'll, I'll demonstrate it for you with Noah's speed abilities. Um, oh my god. Well, I'll demonstrate it for you with Nova's speed abilities as soon as I do this the other way, the way I want to be showing you guys. And that way is the memory puzzle. This is one of the most amazing ways I've ever seen to hack a spy vault. And that's why I'm glad we're ending the series on a high note. So as you can see, there are uh, six little nodes. And, oh look, there are also six little platforms around the room. Hmm, I wonder how we can do this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna memorize here. I'm gonna have these number these off. One, two, three, four, five, six as a memory mark. All right, five, six, two, three, one, four. Five, six, two, three, one, four. You can do whatever sort of mnemonic you want that helps you do this. You can actually, if you're very, whoops, if you're very musical. As you can see, it's, it's showing me my progress. Now, if I was to mess this up, I'm not going to demonstrate it for you, but if you mess this up, it's not the end of the world. It just starts, a, it starts adds a laser beam that starts rotating around the room, and if you hit the laser beam, then you set off the alarms. But it does not actually, does not actually fail the vault or anything like that. There we go. <laughs> that opens that door for us. So that is that is very very fun to do to do this vault that way. I'm gonna go ahead and hack it because I believe all, the entire set of traps stays intact on the speed version, even if I hack the vault. That way I can demonstrate for you guys. No, nope. oh, I almost ran straight into no the uh, little singularity. All right, so let's go through here now. So we don't have to hack this. Let's get. Uh, get into this room anymore. But now once you're in this room this gets this gets interesting. So um, I'm gonna start the puzzle because the puzzle the puzzle works the same way regardless of what's going on. Oh no! Come on baby! Oh, no I just got crushed into it. Okay. So that was fun. Oh good! I it did respawn me through the door that I was trying to get through. See that that's very that's very very difficult. I probably should have popped down and know of a portal to get through that. Um, but as you can see, there are, there's more. <laughs> that's very difficult because there's two uh two pounding plates and uh, ice everywhere, so you have to go through the actual pounding plates to get to this room. So this can be a this can be a hassle. Anyway, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hack this. Start that thing moving. This room's a puzzle in and of itself. Now, if you notice, I make this thing move. It makes a portal, and it actually is going to phase through those two little objects that are sitting there. Oops! No! 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 Stop! Come on! 
go. Now I phase through there. Alright. And now, as you can see, those two little objects we phased through, this one landed right here. This one... Oh, come on, reloading takes so long. <laughs> when you're frozen. This one landed right over here. And if you look at the wall... Oh, look! New hole in wall. <laughs> and that lets us go through this little path here. Hello. How interesting. Let's just go through this. Oh, and as you can see, let's just, we can solve that puzzle that way to get into this orc room with all of these containers to, to raid. So there you guys go. <laughs> there's, there's the benefits of doing the vault that way. So, as soon as I get done raiding all this stuff here. Wow, I actually took more health than I thought. Huh. Anyway, we are going to be on our way. Uh, that's not the right way. This is. Okay. So there we have it, YouTube. Uh, leave a like or a comment if you have any any questions or anything for me about different ways to solve the vaults, or you think you, if you think you found another way that I didn't mention in, in my videos to solve a particular spy vault in Warframe, I would absolutely love to know that, and I might make a might make a uh, addendum or a re or a re recording of a video to do this. All right. So, peace out, YouTube. Herp to derp is out for the last time on the Spy Vault series. And I hope you enjoyed this, and good luck with all your future endeavors.